I needed to come across the quote by Ellen DeGeneres. When you take risks, you learn that there will be times when you succeed. And there will be times when you fail. And both are equally important. Hi, I'm Mitch. And I'm Carlin. And welcome to our Healthy Blog Lifestyle. We're on a weight loss journey, but mostly it's just a health journey of being If you're healthy, healthy. the weight will reflect that. If you're healthy, you're wealthy. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do because that helps us grow and, you know, just makes us feel good. Also, make sure to give this video a like. Now, let's jump in. This week was filled with ups and downs. For both of us. Yeah. Um, We had soccer Monday and Wednesday and good practices, lots of exercise for me and all the kids. And I got to go and watch and it was awesome. On Thursday morning, I think we went for a run. Yeah. I want to soak up the sun. That's all I know of that song off the top of my head. But good morning. We are coming to you live from 5.18 a.m. Out for a run, having some fun. Well, at least I am. I think Mitch might still be sleeping a little bit. Not sure. And then when I got home from work, I uh, got changed into some gardening clothes and went and got the rototiller. And when I was lifting the rototiller over our little garden fence, I tripped and fell and ended up smashing my face on the... Pull down your glasses. Show them how yeah. you... Yeah, well, the bruising's gone down, but... Uh... My glasses took a chunk of skin off my nose. I had a big goose egg on the side of my head here. And uh, I woke up Friday morning and was nauseous and a terrible headache and could barely turn my neck because of like whiplash or whatever. So he's and, dealing with a possible concussion. Mm, yeah, so I took Friday off work and uh, went to the hospital and got assessed and stuff and just been keeping an eye on that. And I was having a week filled with highs and lows as well. I was really excited. I've always wanted to progress within my career. And I had applied for a job that would uh, hopefully elevate me into an administrative position. And so I was very excited. Friday, I had an interview and I was pumped. I was prepared. And I've had a few interviews over the years for a position similar to to what I was applying for. So I was beyond excited all week. And then Friday came and I went for my interview and I felt like I nailed it. Friday night, I got a phone call from the, our employer, not our employer, like my employer. (laughs) And I didn't get the job. And I was beyond disappointed. I wanted it so badly. She's wanted this job specifically for years. She's been years. waiting for the opportunity for it to open up. Years. And, and I and I didn't get it. And that was a tough pill to swallow. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it's still lodged. On Friday, it was lodged in my throat. Yesterday, Saturday, it was lodged in my chest. And now... It's working its way through my gut, if mm-hmm. I could make an, a, yeah, an analogy. Like things ha- are things have some are sauerkraut, get right. your gut biome in order, and it'll it'll work itself out. And, you know, right, it's just gonna be a poop eventually. <laughs> Look at that sunset. There is some beauty going on behind us. We were just walking towards it, but we've turned the channel. Turn the. I'm trying to not block the sun. <laughs> turned the corner not the channel but now my head's blocking you don't worry about it it's a beautiful sunset and just a beautiful evening we're out for a walk finally i've been struggling big time major struggling i applied for a job which would have been a promotion at my work didn't get it And so I've been having all of this self-doubt 
and questioning like, what's wrong with me? And then I've gotten really mopey about YouTube. I'm like, barely getting any subscribers. And I mean, I'm grateful for the ones that we do have, thank you. We've been sitting at 186 for a while. Minimal click-through rate. And I'm just like, Mitch, what's wrong with us? Why don't people want to engage in our content more? It's a hard night. And I keep reminding myself that, yeah, sure. There's so much good around, blah, blah, blah. But sometimes, I don't even want to go through that process. I was looking on my mirror that had all our affirmations and by our, I mean, I put a bunch of affirmations on a mirror in my room and all I could think of was scrubbing that mirror clean. Cause I'm so angry. And I'm so questioning like my whole entire person it's hard to stay good and confident and positive in times when things you want to go your way don't. And then as we keep on, I keep doing affirmations like, I am a successful YouTuber. But am I? Am I? You know, we've always said, oh, we do this for us and accountability. Financial support for Great. A major, uh, in the camp. But I wouldn't do this if I didn't want to be successful on YouTube. I wouldn't put in daily work into making films if I didn't want to be successful on YouTube. And so it's frustrating when it seems like multiple parts of my life that I'm trying to manifest are not manifesting. And I know I've read Green Lights by Matthew McConaughey and he's like, even red lights are green lights. Sure, sure, but not in the moment. Maybe in a couple years, I'll look back and I'll be like, oh, thank God for this. But right now it sucks. It sucks. So after my disappointing news, I definitely turned to emotional eating and I had chips and I had chocolate, and I had ice cream, and I had popcorn, which I guess popcorn's not terrible for you, but thank goodness. <laughs> it was, it was all right. You know what? I stepped on the scale this morning before we did this, and there really wasn't that much damage done, like maybe up a pound or two. It could even just be retaining water, but the good news is, is that starting tomorrow, Monday the 16th, we're back on nutrition plan. So even though, you know, I've had these disappointments and I'm forced to reevaluate, I still have complete and total trust in the universe. This was not meant for me. I wanted it. I wanted it bad. Even looking back, I would still want it, but it wasn't meant for me. It's meant for whoever got the position and I have to trust. I have to truly trust that there is a whole different plan for me. There'll be a, a even better opportunity to present itself. And that doesn't mean it didn't hurt because it hurt. It hurt. But I am strong and I am smart and I am valuable. And not getting a position doesn't change those aspects about myself. They just didn't see it. <laughs> and they, maybe they were looking for something else. And well, they were looking for something else because they chose something else and I have to be okay with that because there is no other I mean, solution as long as they didn't give the job to like a stapler or something <laughs> you know what and even if they did maybe they really needed a stapler or like it doesn't matter it's it doesn't impact who I am and what my skills and abilities are and I just like I said there's a different plan in the works for me. That's what I see a smile on your face right now. It's been a few <laughs> days. So. Well, yeah, I had to work through it. And yeah. that was the other thing. Like when you have that disappointment, I didn't try and shut out those emotions. 
I let myself feel them all evening Friday. I let myself feel them all day Saturday. And she then by... Me feel them a few times. <laughs> He's the easiest to take it out on. And then by Saturday night, it's like, okay, get it together. Let's go for a walk. Actually, I went for a few walks on Saturday. And then even vlogging helped. It was like just a release of what I was feeling. And Whiskers. now we can move on and start planning and, you know, continuing to live a happy life. Like this isn't going to make me be miserable for the rest of my life or even the rest of the weekend. I'm having a great Sunday and we're hoping to go golfing later. Yeah. Mitch wanted to go first thing in the morning and I was like, it is two degrees outside. Um, no, we can wait till it warms up. So I just, I just see bright light and I'm like, golf. Well, and the nutrition plan starts tomorrow. So we have some prep work to do and our kitchen needs some tidying. So we're going to have a big day. We got, oh, happy day. We got our potatoes planted in the garden. We finished getting fertilizer in it and oh, rototiller. Yeah. Ap after I fell, I uh, kept rototilling and I got about one and a half more rows with the rototiller and then it quit on us. It was a so tough week, you we guys. Half the garden tilled. So we ended up buying a new rototiller, a bigger one. And uh, finished that up yeah. because, well, and I said to Mitch, it's like we plan to garden for the rest of our lives. And you know what? I think that also helped too, connecting with Earth. Like mm -hmm. grounding. That's a, that's a major thing now. Carlin's tilling. I'm hauling five gallon pails of manure. Getting the garden ready for another growing season. People pay money to just go stand outside in bare feet. It was Human it was feet. good. You know, when you get disappointing news, which I did, how do you handle it? And let yourself feel it. And then, and you know what the other thing that was really great was that even in my lowest times this past, like this weekend, I still had habits that I was like, I need to do this. They didn't just vanish and I didn't revert to, you know, 285 pound Carlin who would do everything unhealthy and get stuck in that for years kind of thing. The resiliency and the, what's the word, the bounce back from the low. Was, yeah, it was so much easier just having, you know, the basis in health. And I'm so happy that we're going back on plan. And I'm also happy that I gave myself the freedom to have the treats. Um, I did the weekend prior, no damage done. And then I did this weekend and now I can go for 28 days. That's how long this nutrition session is lasting. 28 days straight of super health. And maybe, maybe I'll get down to my goal weight. You guys, I don't know. I'm 15 pounds away from my first goal weight, which was losing 100 pounds. Which that means That's I would be at 185. An incredible accomplishment, no matter what. 28 days. Can I get to the point where I have lost 100 pounds and be at 185 pounds? You can. I can. I think I can. It'll be hard. No cheats. But I want to do it, or I want to get darn close. We just saw the number 333, and whenever we see like numbers like that, we we look up the meanings. And 333 right now says that your guardian angel is beside you to provide you with the strength and ability to take one step at a time while you live a stress-free life. If this number manifests in your life, this could be a sign that joy can exist even in the worst situation. Right. And you know what? This isn't the worst situation. <laughs> I didn't That's get true. a job. Yeah. Well, well, you didn't you know, lose your job. I didn't lose my job. I just didn't get a job that I wanted. And it's like, there is so many worse things in the world that could like way worse. I don't need to sit here and have a pity party. I mean, I did for, for a day and a half, that but was a pretty fun party, but man, you know, we still have so much to be grateful for and that's not going to change life. You know, when you look for the good, you find the good. And we've got a lot of good. So I hope everyone is doing well and having a good week. You're looking for the good. And on that note, take care. Brush your hair. And we'll see you guys when. Oh, oh yeah. yeah.
Okay.